Every year where I live, the weather begins to cool and leaves begin to fall. However, by summer, most of these leaves will be gone and you can hardly notice that they once were there. So how does this happen? This is where the decomposers do their job. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's talk about the decomposers called the saprotrophs and the detritivores. These groups of organisms help break down organic matter, but they do it in slightly different ways. Saprotrophs break down organic matter like leaves, a tree trunk, or a once living organism by using enzymes that break it down and then they absorb this material directly. For example, they will break down the lipids by releasing the enzyme lipase and then they can absorb it directly. Major saprotrophs include bacteria and fungi. Saprotrophs need water, oxygen, a neutral pH, and a temperature between 1 and 35 degrees Celsius to do their job. Bacteria are single cell prokaryotic organisms that are found on almost every surface on Earth. There are around 40 million bacterial cells in a single gram of soil. Fungi, on the other hand, which are also saprotrophs, include mushrooms, this hyphae, bread mold, and even water mold. Detritivores are another type of decomposers, but they have to ingest the organic matter in order to decompose it. Detritivores feed on detritus, which include once living organic matter like cow manure, fallen logs, grass clippings, and that poor possum that didn't make it across the street. Examples of detritivores include millipedes, flies, slugs, earthworms, several species of ants, termites, and the world famous dung beetle. Detritivores are different than scavengers because scavengers generally eat large quantities of the organic matter where detritivores can only eat small quantities. If you'd like to know more about decomposers, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.